So I just walked around the neighborhood, found some flowers, and the images that you're going to be looking at now, these several, are taken straight from the camera. I'm not sure if I crop, I may have cropped maybe one or two of these, but these are straight out of the camera, just so you see. And this particular one is the Tamron. 28 to 75 millimeter. This was taken at 7.1 as an f-stop. Gives me a little bit more depth of field. And then moving along to the next one here, I just put on the 70 to 200, which is kind of an awkward lens to use for doing close-up. And I did set it to f4 here. So here we have quite a bit less depth of field. And the, the zoom was set to 180 millimeter. Now you can see there's less depth of field here, and the same thing here. This is also 180 millimeter, and my depth of field here is very narrow because here I had it set to shooting at f3.2. So the focusing area that you focus on is going to be very sharp, and then of course you're going to get background blur, which, which uh, many times that's what you want. And the same thing here, same lens. Here we're shooting at f4.5. Same thing here, 70 to 200, but in this case, and the last one, we set the zoom to 200 millimeter. This is set to full zoom at f4.5 using the 70 to 200 millimeter lens. And then we're back to the Tamron set to 75 millimeter, shooting wide open at f2.8. And just notice the beautiful colors coming straight from this camera and accuracy in the exposure. Very, very amazing. Folks, you really have no idea what uh, the ease that you have today of taking fantastic images, because I remember in the early days of digital, it was really tough to get a decent exposure, and of course your high dynamic range didn't exist back then, like you have in, in these models, especially in the D7200, it really has a nice high dynamic range which you can pick up a lot of detail in these sometimes overexposed highlights which years ago they were just blown out there's nothing there but these days it's it's a big plus and then here we're looking at the frog that's hanging onto our bird bath again the Tamron 75 millimeter set to f3.2 and then here I was with a uh, fellow photographer friend who was a commercial photographer, and then we were having a cup of tea, and I just asked him to hold the cup out, so I just took a quick photo, and, and again, these are also natural light, a quick photo of the teacup, and then when I saw it on the monitor on the 7200, I said, wow, this is, look at this, this is a, almost a perfect match with the actual cup. So the color... And the saturation and the detail is just amazing, coming straight from the camera. And here's another interesting thing that the D7200 offers, and that is the special effects on here. And then you can see it's got the effects mode on the dial here. And some of the effects that it offers are night vision, color sketch, miniature effect. You can select different colors, silhouette, and also has a high and low key. And I just played with a couple of these. Here we're out by the pool, and it's a little bit of an overcast day. Uh, these were taken on aperture priority. And this is just aperture priority with no effects added. And then here I switched to the miniature effect. So with the miniature effect, as you can see from top and bottom, and maybe a little bit along the sides, but it's mostly top and bottom, it sort of blurs out the image. It sort of reminds me back in the film days when I used to use Hasselblads, I would put a filter over my lens that I made, which gave it like a misty look. And it sort of made it like a romantic look. So this may be a nice benefit if you want to do some romantic photographs of the bride and groom or with engagement portraits. And then here's another one. Same thing. You can see the top and bottom. Misty. Through the Bride's Misty Eyes. And then we're looking at what's called Color Sketch. It just seems to give it the appearance of a somewhat of a sketch, I guess. 
But I thought that when I saw this coming out of the camera, I thought this would be nice if I made this into a black and white. So it really looks like a sketch. So you can just make this into a black and white, give it kind of a neat effect like I did here. But the other one was coming straight from the camera. As I mentioned, I was out with a photographer friend who was a commercial photographer, and then we were going to do some shooting. But he didn't want any photographs taken of him, so he took my D7200 and he just took a few of me. These were taken natural light. We were actually um, in a little bit of a, an overhang, and then we were, of course, in the shade here. And this is all natural light, nothing used to enhance anything, but the the floor was a light concrete, so it acted as a reflector, but I have my eyes covered here anyway, but this would have brightened up the eyes a little bit more. And on the patio, like I said, we had an overhang, and that's a little bit of an effect of something that was called subtractive lighting, which I like to use quite a bit. Subtractive lighting was something that I learned many years ago from another photographer named Leon Kenimer, who did some of the most beautiful outdoor portraits. They were just so gorgeous because it just eliminated the raccoon eyes and it just brought such neat highlights to the eyes. But anyway, getting back to here. So here you can see the natural colors. It comes right out of the camera and very, very sharp. I always like photographing somebody that has a little bit of a beard if you're doing a lens testing or something like that, because when you magnify it, these are reduced just a little bit of a lower resolution for the, the video that I'm making here. But when you magnify it as a uh, full res image, it is just crystal clear. Those three, by the way, were taken using the Tamron 28-75 millimeter f2.8 lens. Some were taken at about 3.2, 3.5. Then I wanted to see the results that we can get working in the camera room with the D7200. So here I set up a photogenic power light that was shot through a about a 30 by 38 inch softbox. To my right, as you're looking at the image, and I had two kick lights, each one coming in from the top side, and that was it. There was no hair light, well, mainly the kicker light acted as a hair light, and there was no background light on here. Now, this particular image was enhanced. First of all, it was cropped slightly, and then I did enhance this using a really neat software program called Portrait Pro, which just really quickly and easily just softens the uh, skin lines and uh, I it also brightened up the eyes just a little bit so it just made me look about two years younger actually but uh, <laughs> so I did do some enhancing on this image but the quality and the sharpness of this one was just spectacular here we're using the 70 to 200 millimeter and we had the of course using the flash so I, I believe we shot out f11 on here and when we blow this up into a full res image and just magnify it, it is very, very sharp. But the 7200 has just such great image capability. It's really up to you to, to do with it what you can do. 